We are now ready to look for geometric application of the triple scalar product, and that's what we'll do in section 1.5.2. First, a definition. Uh, we'll call a solid a parallel pipe bed if it is formed by six parallelogram. All right, so let's look at what this means. Uh, let's use green. All right, so this front side is a parallelogram. So if I choose to call this edge V, then the opposite edge, because it's a parallelogram, should be V as well. And same thing for the other side. This is U, so will this be. Well, we said every side needs to be a parallelogram, so this one should be two. And so this opposite edge to you should be you, and then the other two edge should be parallel as well. So I'll use red. If this is W, so will this be. And we can keep going that way. What we'll find is that all four of these red edges are W, all four of the blue are U, and all four of the green are V. So all the edges are either parallel to U, V, or W. Okay, so really to determine the shape of the parallel pipe bed, I only need to have the three vectors given to me. If you're trying to visualize this, um, I like to think of a box. So a box is um, something like this, but with right angle. If you leave it for a long time in a humid place, it's going to start to tilt. This is a tilted box, right? It has the same general shape, but now all the angles are skewed from gravity mixed with moisture. All right, proposition 1.5.1, the volume of a parallel pipe bed with adjacent edges U, V, and W is the triple scalar product. Almost, not quite. I need to add one little thing. I need to add absolute value to make sure it's positive. The volume will be positive, but it's a triple scalar product. One thing that will ease your mind is when you're computing the volume of the parallel pipe bed, the order of U, V, and W doesn't matter. So there's no way of picking the first edge, the second edge, and the third. Um, this is because of takeaway eight. Let's, takeaway eight um, told us that if we switch two in the triple scalar product, we get an extra minus. Well, the absolute value will get rid of that extra minus. All right, so let's try this example. In example 1.5.3, we're asked to consider the following parallel pipe bed, and then we need to find its volume. All right, so let me use the same notation I had over here. I have V, I have U, and I have W. So I need to find these vectors and then compute its uh, their triple scalar product. So U, I'll choose to be AC. Again, for all of these computations, after a while I do them quickly, but if you're not comfortable, just pause and do them yourself. And then you can compare your answer with mine. Hopefully they'll be the same. All right, for the first component, I get minus three, minus one, I get minus four. Three minus two is one. One minus zero is zero. For V, I get AB. One to one, zero. Five minus two is three. One minus zero is one. And then W, that's um, AD. One to five, I need to add four. Two to three is one. Zero to six is zero. All right, I need to take um, the absolute value of triple scalar product. Let me do it in the 
alphabetical order, u dot v cross w. I need v cross w. That would be 0, 3, 1 cross with 4, 1, 6. Um, up. 0, 3, 4, 1, cross, cross, cross. And so I get 18 minus 1, I get 17. I get 4 minus 0, I get 4. And I get 1 minus 12. Uh, 0 minus 12, I get minus 12. All right, so this is minus 4, 1, 1, dotted with 17, 4, minus 12. And so I get minus 4 times 17 plus 4 minus 48. And I got minus 76, so that's just 76. All right, so the volume of this parallel the pipe bed is 76. In B, I'm asked to find the coordinates of the vector E and F. Um, all right, so they're on a the parallel pipe bed, and we just figured out that all of these we know. So this is still our V. This is still W. So let's find E first. And just by the way, you could have gone through B if you wanted and use a blue vector. It really doesn't matter. So here I want E. So let's look at OE. I'm going to go through C. So OC plus CE. OC is the same as C. So minus 3, 3, 1. Um, CE is V. So that's 0, 3, 1. And so I'm getting a vector which is minus 3, 6, 2. And so E is minus 3, 6, 2. All right, OF. Um, OF, I should go through E because I know this vector. And now that I know E, that'd be enough. So I will have OE plus EF. OE, we just found was minus 3, 6, 2. EF, that's red. So it's W, which is 4, 1, 6. We found it in A right here. And so that's one, seven, eight. So F is one, seven, eight.